Hi buddies, welcome back, it's Anne Sophie and today I have the Huawei Nova 11 Pro and this is the phone, the standard welcome screen. This is the phone from the back, we have a fancy camera again, we have a really nice looking back here and we're gonna go ahead and set it up together. So first we can select our language, it's English right now so we'll leave it with that. We can make emergency calls and set our reading aid here and when you've made your settings choose your language and whatever else you can get started. Now we can select our region, we are in Germany, you can choose whatever you like here and then go to the next slide. Terms of use and user software license agreement. You have more details here. You have the basic service statement, more details here. Please read the end user software license agreement and basic service statement carefully before using your Huawei device. By using your Huawei device, you are agreeing to be bound by the terms of this agreement. If you recently purchased a Huawei device and do not agree to the terms of this agreement, you may return your device to the official Huawei retailer or authorized reseller where you obtained it for a refund subject to Huawei's return policy. All right. So we can say I've carefully read and agree to the above terms and then say next. Now we can insert a SIM card. We do not do this right now. We have a separate video for this. So we'll skip this step right now. Connect to your network. You want to connect to your Wi-Fi or well some other kind of network to be able to like download apps and stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And we're connected now so we can go to our next step data and privacy Huawei is committed to keeping your personal data safe and to doing it in a way that's transparent and totally compliant with the law this principle is embodied in every step of our design from initial concept to final product we aim to provide best possible services using the least amount of your personal data as the owner of your data you are entitled to know how we use it so you can read through more details here and if you've done that you can click on and next device protection and enable device protection to prevent unauthorized access to your device we have a separate video for that so we'll skip this part right now and say skip and now we come to Huawei ID your Huawei ID gives you access to all of Huawei's cloud services log in or create an account to get exclusive member benefits offers and more so we can now say next and then put in our email and password and done or if you don't have an Huawei ID yet you can create one here. So we can verify your identity to keep your account secure. Please verify your identity. And now the phone sends in code to my email address and I will go check that right now. So now I put in the code set verify and now we come to the next slide. Cloud secure data storage automatically back up and encrypt your data for secure storage. Sync photos, contacts and more for easy access on all your devices. So we have cloud backup, gallery, contacts, browser, calendar, notes, Wi-Fi. You can also say to enable these later in settings or say next. I'm gonna say next now. Huawei Mobile Cloud Privacy Notice. These following categories or information will be collected and used to provide you with this service. Huawei ID account information, device information, network information, service usage, service usage information, location information, and the data you choose to upload. All right, that's a lot. Um, we'll say next, permissions and user agreement, internet, phone, storage, camera, messaging, contacts, calendar, call logs, location, find device. You can access find device on Huawei device or at cloud.huawei.com. Find my phone, send last location, locate, lock or erase your device if it's lost. When activation lock is active, your Huawei ID, username and password are required to activate the device. Or send last location, automatically send the location of this device to the server when, when the battery is about to run out. All right, you can keep this on. This sounds pretty useful and we'll say next. Find device has been enabled. Yep, sounds good. Set a screen lock, so we can now set a screen lock. 
and we have a separate video for that so I would like to skip it but we actually don't have another option or well the option to skip it so we'll say one two three four five six all right okay media services enable Huawei video service enable Huawei book service media services provides you with a range of audio visual entertainment services Huawei video gives you access to a huge collection of online video content including movies tv series variety shows cartoons and documentaries Huawei books offers a fast library of popular ebooks and audiobooks Huawei music provides high quality online music streaming services services you can also watch read and listen to local files in the corresponding app so you can choose now what you like or say later while i in app purchase after adding a payment method you can use it to make secure payments in app gallery cloud and themes i do not have a bank card right now or a phone number here right now so i'll say at later or don't if you just don't want that now we have hms core provides basic services such as Huawei ID, map and location services, as well as security features for apps on your device. These services are updated automatically. Your personal information will be processed in accordance with the statement about HMS core and privacy. So we have the ad ID statistics and the personalized ads and the auto update. Uh, you can have this enabled or disabled just click on it and say disable if you don't like it or if you're fine with all of the settings here you can just say next enhanced services a dear customer emui provides a range of enhanced services that help you get the most from your device touch the setup enhanced services to learn more about these services a lot of services here right now um and enable or disable services individually. To provide these enhanced services, EMUI may need to access certain information and permission on your device, including the phone permission, group IMEI, incoming and outcoming call numbers, network information, and information about how images are used. Why would they need to know how I use images? You can say set up enhanced services here, enable all services. Oh, there's a lot more. Oh God you can read through it say enable all services or set up enhanced services or say no thanks i'm going to say no thanks now and then we come to user experience improvement program dear customer to enhance your user experience while i would like to invite you to participate in the user experience improvement program your participation is entirely voluntary for more information please touch here this device is provided by Huawei device ceo ltd whatever this stands for and it needs to access information about your device network and system as well as approximate location cell id error logs and usage logs you can say join or later i'm going to say it later share analytics help improve Huawei's interfaces and apis used by other apps by allowing statistical analysis of using data from these interfaces you can withdraw your consent at any time in settings. You can say enable or later again. Location services enables apps and services to access the location of your device so they can provide you with location-based services. Also later, keep your software up to date, enable overnight updates to enjoy the latest features, enhanced security and service improvements. When enabled, updates will be installed automatically between two and four while your device isn't in use. You will be notified before an update is installed. If you don't want overnight updates, you can update manually instead. To disable overnight updates later, go to settings, system and updates, software update, select this device and disable this feature. So we don't really have any other option than to click on update manually or enable and continue. And when we click that we come to data import, move data from another device, restore from Huawei cloud backup or set up as a new device. Actually, I think it's nice to set up as a new device without any old data and stuff. 
So we're gonna say set up this new device, but you can totally go ahead and like restore data. Navigation gestures, get around your device faster with navigation gestures. Simply swipe to go back and return home or view recent tasks. Give them a try. Try gestures, swipe inward from the left edge, from the right edge, from the bottom, and from the button and hold. Okay. So we have the gestures or we can also change to the three key navigation and then say finish. Now we have some apps which we can, well, pre-install. Um, we have here TikTok, Tinder, some games. Um, so you can say select all or deselect all and then say next. And that was the setup, took us long enough. Um, and we're now on our home screen. Now we can go ahead and insert a SIM card and well, customize it a bit more. So that was the setup of the Huawei Nova 11 Pro. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time, bye.